Bag fuel, baby. You know right. what I mean? Do you give like advice to them? Like, yo, you know, you guys got a chance to really elevate in hip hop, chill with the extra going hard with the violence, because you're that voice for them. Right. They're listening to you. Yeah. I'm not gonna assume that they are. I can see that they listen to you. And I feel like you can like, you know, shift the culture of the drill community to whereas we don't gotta be rah-rah. Just put out dope music. And like that's so said. A lot of pressure be, on him. No, what what not? Shift no, it. You, you want this man to shift the yeah, drill not? culture by yeah, himself? Yes. Whoa. Yeah. Wait, I'll talk about hold on. And then I'm a because of my hurt my land. Yo, John, could you do me a big ass favor, bro? It's, we wanna get the heat fixed in the building, right? Over there? Yeah, can you hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. See, this is real work right this here. Is, yeah, now nah, this is a, that, <laughs> that's why I didn't want to interrupt, but hold on. No, nah, go for bro, it. This, this is, is part, this authentic. This is part of the podcast life. No Boom. This is, we're working while working and working. Let's talk about New York City landlords. Let's talk about it. <laughs> <Are you laughs> no, we'll talk, no, we'll talk about it in a second. <laughs> Yo, here. They if, her, if her, she calls her WhatsApp or hits me on WhatsApp, you'll see it. Sorry about that, guys. All right, but I want to answer that. Yes. Um, I do try to talk to them because here's what I tell them, right? Because I say, look, you guys want to become the biggest artist in the world, right? At the mm -hmm. end of the day, you, your goal as an artist, well, not everybody's goal as an artist, but these kids, they want to make it out of the hood. They want to become big artists. The, the Literally, the blueprint has been created for you already. Pop Smoke literally did this, right? Mm. You know? And what I'm trying to tell them is, is like, look, if you look at some of the biggest drill records that came out of New York, Right, you think about um, you think pop because pop had Welcome to the Party, Dior, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. I, I Spice now with Munch and Bikini Bottom, um, CJ had Whoop D, Whoop you know D, what I'm saying? Yeah. A lot of these records weren't just like they're not disc records, right? Mm -hmm. They're records that can work in New York and can work on the West Coast and can be party records at the same time. So I what I try to tell them I'm like, look, like I I'm not gonna tell you guys to stop doing what you're doing, because I, I understand, like, if you feel the need to respond, I'm not like that. I'm very much just like, yo, a wise man once said nothing at all. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And a wise man once said nothing at all. But I, I get it, because when you're young, and you know what I'm saying? Like, if, if me and my mans is out, right, and I leave my mans, and he gets jumped, right? Now I'm gonna be like, all right, we gotta do something about this, mm -hmm. right? So I, I get, when I, when I was young, I'm not saying I had that same mentality as them, but I understand that mentality because, again, at the end of the day, they're young. So they're not fully, like, you know what I'm the saying? The frontal lobe is not developed. And they're not as mature yet to understand certain things about life, about the world. Like, they haven't experienced things to, that would really yeah. take them to a certain level that they, they would be like, that is stupid. You know what I'm saying? Like now you see a lot of older artists now that, you know, they're in their 30s, 40s, whatever. They're like, wow, what we were doing back then was really dumb. But that's because they've seen, they've grown and, you know, they've gotten to exist and kind of enjoy the fruits of their labor as an artist and seeing what really matters in this world. So that being said, what I try to tell them, like, look, I get what I get why y'all got to do what y'all do. But I'm telling y'all, like, if you guys really want to make it as an artist, pop laid the blueprint for you. Literally, it's right there, right? right there. It, it might not work for everybody, right? It ain't going to work for everybody. Not every builder can follow a blueprint exactly, right? It, but they said only 10% of the people that set out the rap actually become rappers. Right. But at the end of the day, the mm -hmm. blueprint's still there. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. There are... there are. That blueprint is tough, though, Gabe. Pop Smoke was a star, period. Of course. And that and star power is a big deal. Mm. And he could really rhyme, period. But star power is also on the mm -hmm. blueprint, you know what I'm saying? Mm. But like you also have to like create that star power too at the end of the day. Some people born with it, some people can, you know, create it, but they buy it. They buy it. They buy it too. <laughs> okay. But I think at the but I think at the end of the day, it's like, look, disc records don't get you further than New York. And that's why I try to tell them. I'm like, look, this is this is cool, like, but that's like very true. And yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm unless sure. you're dissing somebody that's so big, but on, right, the, level, that point, on the level that they're dissing, he's yeah. right. It's just going to stay at home. Yeah, unless mm -hmm. somebody's coming for young boy. You know what I'm saying? But even then, people don't, you know, if it's a New York artist dissing young boy, like, yeah, what, unless it's, it's right, like yeah, yeah. a big artist, nobody's going to care. Um, but that's why I try to tell them, because I'm sure, think about it, we're all here in New York, but I'm sure there are Chicago diss records, UK diss records that never touched our ears because... They're local. They're local. They don't mean, they don't mean anything mm -hmm. to us. And... Honestly, I try to tell them, like, look, do what you got to do, right? But at the end of the day, like, you got to think long term, right? Because right now you're thinking in the moment, you're thinking it's high. You're thinking that you're getting a lot of uh, views on certain videos, right? And this doesn't even go for just drill. This goes for any artist. Like, if you're getting too many views too quick, you're going to start to get hot-headed. You're going to be like, oh, yeah, I'm the man. I'm this, I'm that. But, like, the quicker the rise, the harder the fall.
Mm. You feel me? Usually when you rise quick, you fall quick. It ain't too many people that rise fast and actually stay there for a long time. It's, it's few very far, rare. It's few and far in between. Yep. But how do you look at running your studio? Because you got your own studio now, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Tell me about your whole process because you got freestyles coming out of there. You you probably booking stuff. Interviews. Yeah. What's your process of, of, of just running your, your studio like? Yeah, the whole business, the um, YouTube, everything. Man. So for On The Radar, um, with this new studio that we got, you know, you'd be shocked to like if I told you like, John, would you say that like the majority of artists coming in are like mostly not from New York nowadays? Right now. Yeah, I'll say the majority of artists coming in aren't from New York nowadays, which are is kind of crazy. Are you saying they're not hungry enough? I'm not saying New York artists aren't hungry enough. I'm just saying that like, or maybe they're arrogant, like, he's supposed to call me. Nah, maybe no, 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 he's no, just no, no. up. No, no, listen, no, listen. Listen to what I'm saying. I think it's more of that. No, listen to what I'm about to say. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. The out-of-town artists, they're hitting you up, right? Yeah, PRs, the, labels. The New York ones, are they hitting up at the same frequency? Um, I think that, they, I think that they're hitting up at, at Or am more... I bugging? They hit my DMs frequently. Okay, then I'm fucking then. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. Well, like, I don't look at my DMs anymore. I like DMs are a nasty place. I don't like going there no more. I'm well, young. What do you mean they nasty? Well, they in what tough. way? You, you got too many. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say this. I, I think that mm. every, artists, especially like, you know, I'm sure, and I'm, I'm sure if you ask Adam22 this question a couple mm -hmm. years ago, he might say the same thing, right? Because he's out in LA. But artists from your city feel entitled to your time, right? They feel entitled to be on the platform. They feel entitled to this. And, and, I was just at a showcase last night. So this is what I tell artists when they come up to me at showcases that I host, right? I'll be like, they'll be like, how do I get on the platform? I'll be like, you got to have motion. You got to be moving. You got to like, mm -hmm. you got to make me want to like have you up. And they're like, oh, but I have X a million. I have like a hundred thousand views on a video. They'll show me the video. I'll be like, bro, you got a hundred thousand views on a video. You got 31 comments. I know you bought those views next. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause I also, what is a hundred thousand views good enough? Like say they was real views. Would that be good enough? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't even need a hundred thousand views. Sometimes I'll bring people on for less, but I like seeing real authentic views. You know okay. what I'm saying? And what people don't know or realize that I worked in digital media for the past six years. Like yeah. I just left my job at Power 105. I'm still on air at Power 105.1, but I left my social media job there in August, right? I remember that's how we met when we spoke about with Charlemagne and the, uh, the yep. comic book show and everything. Yep, so I left yeah. that job. Um, mm -hmm. I'm still at Power though. It was just that full-time job that I left to do on the radar. But people forget that like I know what fake views look like. I mm -hmm. know what real views look like. I know what fake followers look like. I know. I, I know. So it's like you can't really get shit past me. So it's not that they're not, they're hitting me up in a big frequency, but it's just that like, it's just not, it's just not, a lot of it's not moving the needle for me. You know what I'm mm. saying? You know, like, and I, what I tell artists is that when they come up to me at these showcases, I'm like, look, on the radar, being a New York artist, it only works for you if you work to be on the show, right? It only, it's not going to work for you. And I've shown people like, so I brought somebody up who's been complaining before <laughs> my DMs, right? I was like, watch this, right? I put them on the show. It was like maybe early this year, last year, and it did nothing for them. And I'm like, you rushed, and now you blew. Now you blew it. It's the same way like if people want to go up on flex, right? Mm. You don't want to, you know, you don't want to, you don't want to blow your load too fast. I be right? trying to tell them, but they don't listen, Gabe. They, they just want to. They just want to be on that radio. But you so know they why? Friends and they cousins you can be like, yo, flex dropped the bomb on it. When I say, but they only gonna play it for three days. Not even that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you, you need, to, you need to have more time in circulation for people to feel you, to understand your vibe, yep. to catch your vibe. That's very important. And people are so quick to shoot their load in every situation you know because, why, right? of that, because of that thing that Gabe mentioned. Mm -hmm. They don't have patience, patience. I was with their say. own career. Yeah. Now, yep. now, instead of yep. the manager having patience... <laughs> The, the artist. artist needs to have patience with their career yeah. because they all think that I got a hot record. This is going to be a hit. They don't understand promo. They don't understand marketing. They don't understand that Gabe, what we do, what Gabe does, is mm -hmm. all promotion and marketing for the artist. Yeah. They don't get that. They just see it as a freestyle platform and they people can see it and they're not using it like Gabe is saying. Wait till you're ready. It's going to make my platform better. It's going to make your shit better, mm -hmm. and we're all going to come together with timing. Timing in this business is everything. It's essential. Keyword timing, yeah. That's why I tell them. I'm like, look, I'm like, look, I had G Herbo yesterday, right? Mm -hmm. If I'm, and I'm trying to blend, I'm trying to make On The Radar the perfect platform that has, you know, and so other platforms have done this very well, too, like from the block, shout out my brother Zay. Yeah. He be killing it. But like, 
you know, blending the up and coming and artists who's hot well, in any genre type shit. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm like, look, I just had G Herbo on the show the other day, right? <laughs> it's like, Polo G is going to come do a freestyle for me. What makes you good enough to be on the same platform as them, right? And that's not me being disrespectful. That's just me being like, have you earned the spot on this platform? Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. you're making and, your platform special. Yeah, and there are there are certain artists who are, quote unquote, like up and coming who I've taken chances with, right? But that's because like I've really seen something in them. You know what I'm saying? Like shout out, uh, free my boy Veli Vels, right? Veli Vels is an uh, incredible drill rapper from, uh, I won't even say he's a drill rapper. He could rap rap. Veli Vels is a rapper from Yonkers, right? Mm-hmm. Came on my platform a year ago, just kind of with a friend. I was like, just film. I was pretty much just filming whatever freestyles came through that door, right? Mm-hmm. Did an acapella freestyle on the spot. It was cool. It did like 11K on YouTube. And then he came back in September, like before he got locked up. He did this freestyle for us. And that freestyle transcended anything that he would have thought it would. You know, mm-hmm. unfortunately, he he didn't get to, he's not able to enjoy it because he's locked up right now. But it did a million plus views on, on, um, on IG Reels. Probably did a couple hundred thou on TikTok and uh, about two to three hundred thou right now on YouTube. But that was one of those cases where he kind of earned it because he's been working this past year for. It. He's like, Gabe, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna kill it. And I was a little like, I wasn't sure at first, but he was one of the first artists to really freestyle on the platform. So I'm like, you know what? Mm-hmm. I like you. You rap really well. I think you're gonna kill this. And then it became this viral freestyle over like overnight. Like people from the West Coast were playing yeah. it, people from down south were sending it to me. So I was like, oh damn. But going back to what you're saying, timing is everything. And I think, you know, if you blow your load too fast in this industry, you're gonna miss your chance. Cause there is for a lot of artists, there's a small window, right? And if you take that window and you are able to open that door, you're good. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I think that a lot of people just like, you know, on that highway when they're trying to when they're trying to get there, they get off the exit too quickly. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They're like, oh, like their exit's telling them exit 21. They're like, oh shit, but exit 20 got, you know, exit 20 got the strip club on the side. Exit, exit 20 that's got, me. Exit yeah, 20 that's got, me. Exit 20 yeah. got I'm the not going to lie to you. And, I, and, like I, and, I, and I'm looking over at Heineken and be like, no, let's just keep going. Let's stay all cool. And then exit 21 got the mansions. Exit 21 got, <laughs> yeah. got the, you know, that got the like, private rooms. Exactly. That, like, that sounds like Brighton, less, you know Brighton Beach. Yeah. Brighton Beach. And if you go further, you ain't Coney Island. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. You, got, but you make you way to Far Rock. Oh, no. 